हेलो फ्रेंड्स माई सेल्फ अमित बेलेकर वेलकम यू टू माई चैनल टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स बाय ए एम बी टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट मेकेनिजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ क्लोराइन फेनिकॉल आफ्टर गोइंग थ्रू दिस वीडियो द लर्नर विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब मेकेनिजम ऑफ एक्शन ऑफ क्लोराम फेनिकॉल क्लोराम फेनिकॉल was initially obtained from Streptomyces venezuelae in 1947 nowadays it is synthesized chemically so to understand the mechanism of action of chlorampenicol we should know how the protein synthesis can take place in bacteria for protein synthesis in bacteria double stranded dna strands unwinds first this process is called as unwinding then enzyme named rna polymerase reads the portion of one of the dna strand which is having codes for the synthesis of proteins and duplicates the portion of strands which is called as mrna this this process is called as transcription mrna is having codons on it to arrange the amino acids in sequence to synthesize proteins ribosomes ribosome is responsible for reading these codes and attach amino acids in sequence to synthesize proteins ribosomes are having two subunits with 30s subunit and 50s subunit 30s subunit is responsible for reading codes on mrna and adding specific amino acids in sequence thus it is responsible for initiation of the process or initial trna and ribosome complex formation 50s subunit is having three sites first is a site which is called as acceptor site which accepts the specific trna amino acid complex as per codon read by 30s subunit second site is the p site where actual transfer of amino acid can take place from one tRNA to other tRNA transfer from amino acid from tRNA takes place and transferred amino acid joins together by peptide linkage third site is called as E site which is also called as exit site from which tRNA leaves the ribosome thus 50s subunit is responsible for accepting tRNA amino acid complex transferring amino acid and linking them with the help of peptide bonds then ribosome binds with one of the end of mRNA specifically 30s subunit binds to mRNA strand and reads the codon present on it and attracts the tRNA having same codon which carries specific amino acid this is called as trna amino acyl complex trna binds to acceptor site of 50s subunit and ribosome moves to the next codon now trna at the acceptor site moves to p site of 50s subunit and then leaves ribosome through e site of 50s subunit while leaving behind it removes or leaves amino acid which binds to other amino acid with peptide linkage there's a long chain of amino acid is for, which is the primary structure of protein now we have to discuss about mechanism of action of chloramphenicol chloramphenicol 
is having affinity for 50s subunit of bacterial ribosomes and it binds with acceptor site of 50s subunit thus it inhibits transfer of amino acyl tRNA to the acceptor site thus it inhibits bacterial prote protein synthesis by preventing incorporation of amino acyl tRNA at ribosomes mRNA it also prevents the formation of peptide bond it produces bacteriostatic action now it is time to summarize we had discussed uh, in this video about mechanism of action of chloramphenicol and we had also discussed how it produces bacteriostatic effect in bacteria so thank you for listening me patiently if you have any queries you can contact me on my mail address which is given below if you want to watch more such videos please like and subscribe my channel tips and tricks by amb thank you once again